Okay, today I'm going to be doing a quick demonstration of how to set uh, Microsoft Outlook up to access a Google Apps or Gmail account. Um, it's very straightforward and this allows you to send both send and receive mail through your Gmail or Google Apps account. It's very simple to set up. First we're just going to go to Tools, Account Settings, and then we're going to select uh, New create a new account. Here we'll take the default and down here here we want to select manually configure server settings or additional server types right there. Click select internet email next and then here you want to enter your name as you want to want it to appear in email that are, emails that are sent. Uh, email address is your entire address. Okay, the account type is POP3 or IMAP. Uh, the difference is that POP3 downloads all of your unread email from the server um, and then you manage it locally. But the two are separate. If you delete an email uh, in Outlook, it is not deleted on the server necessarily. In, uh, if you select IMAP, the state of Outlook is exactly the same or mirrors the state of the server. So deleting an email in Outlook will also delete it from the server. And so the two are kept in sync and they'll look the same. If you go and look at your Gmail account, you'll find the exact emails there that you have in your Outlook account. Um, I prefer to use POP uh, for mine. I, I view my um, email on uh, via Gmail on my phone, via Gmail on the web, and then also via uh, Outlook. But I tend to want to keep different subsets of the email in each place. In each place, and so uh, I, you know, I, I keep it. Uh, I I like to just keep the two independent. The incoming mail server is pop.gmail.com. The outgoing mail server is smtp.gmail.com. Here, for username, you want to use the entire email address again. And you'll notice here that I'm using a Google Accounts uh, address. So it, so the email is uh, email name at and then the domain name. If uh, you were doing this, setting this up for a Gmail account, it would be your name at gmail.com. And then your password. And here I want to click on Require Logon using Secure Password Authentication. And then click on More Settings. You can fill this in if you like, but this information is optional. Um, this is the user-friendly name that would appear in the email account. So I'm going to put this uh, uh, Scylla Family Google account. The outgoing server here is, I want to click My Outgoing Server Requires Authentication, and then we want the first bubble selected. We're going to skip Connection, and then click on Advanced. Here we want to enter the port numbers for the, the two servers. Uh, the port number for POP, the POP server is 995. If you were going to use IMAP here, you'd want to use the port 993. You want to click on this server requires an encrypted connection. And then for the outgoing server, you want to use port 465 all the time. And then click on uh, SSL as the type of encrypted connection. Down here, uh, you have the option to leave a copy of messages on the server. If you don't do this uh, and you're using POP, what will happen is that when all of the unread messages are downloaded, they're automatically deleted from the server. Um, I prefer to leave a copy of the messages on the server uh, in order that, that, again, I can manage the two independently. I tend to want to keep different subsets of emails in the two places, and so I leave them independent. There are other management options here that uh, to have the read emails automatically removed from the server after 10 days or remove them from the server when uh, they are deleted from deleted items. And so this could be useful if you wanted to automatically delete the things that you deleted in Outlook. Click OK. 
and that brings us back to this screen. Now here we want to click test account settings and this actually runs through kind of a dry run to verify that all of the connections work correctly and the connection to the server works as we expect. Okay, very good. That means it works. And I can then click Next and Finish. And I have successfully set up a new Google, Google account. And you'll see here it shows up as the Scylla Family Google account. This was the, the uh, user-friendly name that I, uh, that I set up in that one dialog. And I click Close. Now, if I want to send, I have two, you'll notice I have two Google accounts set up. And that makes it possible for me to, this, I'm going to pull this down where you can see it. Um, when I send a message, I can select which account I want to send it from. Okay, so if I want to be Paul Stokes at Scylla Family, I would use this one. If I want to use my uh, regular one, I'd uh, select this one and then I can fill out my message and send it. But I wanted to point that out to you that, that you now have the ability to set from either one.